What if I told you there was a place where your children could play and learn at the same time? Where you could enjoy an ethnic cooking class, use computers to apply for a job, or pick up a Hollywood movie? A place where you could browse vintage newspapers, take a citizenship class, learn how to start a business, or check in with the greatest minds the world has ever known. And then, what if I told you that all of this was free? Would you believe such a place really existed? Well, it does. Welcome to the Lancaster Public Library. It's not just books, it's, it's, it's gatherings. People come to meet together. It's, they have great rooms that you can you know, sit and talk and discuss things if you want to. That's really where he has been learning to share toys. The library touches people at every point of their life. Reading is very good for you, I think. I think it's better than the television. And I did post on my Facebook page recently, if you have not gone into the Lancaster Library to check out the books or everything else that they offer, then what are you waiting for? The library reaches far beyond its four walls in Lancaster City. Through two branch locations in Mountville and Leola, and through the Lancaster Public Library website, the library now reaches into every corner of the county and beyond. We do serve a lot of Amish. When the school teachers come in and take out lots of books for their classrooms. Our website is pretty user friendly. You can reserve books online. We also have Overdrive, so if you have a Kindle or a Nook, you can borrow library books that way now. The central location on Duke Street is the vibrant center of the public library. The historic building houses gems and treasures awaiting your discovery. Sure, there are endless books, but did you know the library holds the largest collection of vintage Lancaster newspapers? The library is also home to a spellbinding collection of local Lancaster oral histories. It was in the days of Prohibition when the barber said to me, they've put a beer line in the sewer. They're running it from the brewery on King Street to a spigot. Well, not all libraries have oral history collections, and it's a big deal that we have one. Right now, we just have one or two tapes that are digitized. We would really love to be able to digitize the whole collection. And no trip to the library is complete without visiting the Lancaster Collection in the Gerald Lest Reading Room, a designated quiet space in the bustling building. We have a lot of genealogy reference sections that are in there, the Amish, Mennonite, history, maps and atlases from throughout Lancaster County. We do get a lot of people coming in and researching. So who is using the Lancaster Public Library? And we try to make it a habit to come down at least once a week. Of course, we see the movies. The kids like to look at what the new movies are. And then we head upstairs to the kids' area and pretty much let them roam free and they come back with handfuls of books. We uh, come in and we head right for the circle. For us it's been a good opportunity to get the kids around other kids. Well, it's not about running, it's about playing. I didn't have a privilege to go to school. I just finished eighth grade. My daughter decided that she'd bring me some books from the library to see if I'd enjoy it. So I really only started to read about four years ago. Thinking about starting your own business? Countless ideas started right here with the help of our knowledgeable staff in the Duke Street Business Center. Always had a calling to run my own business. Most recently, I came in to get some information about press releases. I know nothing about the press, so I had to teach myself how to do that. And I thought, okay, well, the library knows everything. There's been several people that have told me that they would like to begin their own business as well. And one of the first things I say to them is, go to the library, <laughs> go, to, go to the Duke Street Business Center. The Lancaster Public Library is not a government entity, but rather a nonprofit organization that must raise more than 60% of its funding through donations from our community each year. The nearly 2,000 people a day that visit the library and its two branches also have access to English as a second language classes, passport services, a world-renowned autism center, and this past year alone, more than four million free internet minutes. To keep providing all of these services to our entire community in these uncertain economic times, we need more help than ever. I think that libraries help us merge the technology with the classic. I think we offer both extremes, and I don't think libraries are going away anytime soon. But even with technological advances that allow you to access library resources from afar, libraries still need a home. 
Our home on Duke Street is 60 years old and in great need of an overhaul. Keep your eyes open in coming months for our campaign to revitalize the Lancaster Public Library, renewing our pledge to offer the best available options to our community and making it the library of the future. There's no way we could house as many books as we've read and so the library does it for us. If you're trying to do anything in life that may have an impact or to leave your footprint in the sand as so many of us want to do, you need information and you need a starting point. That the big thing is the learning to read and, and you know broadening your mind. The library offers information on any possible topic you can think of. So why would you bypass that? The library is, is a wonderful thing. I think it's needed. So go ahead, bring your family, enjoy the library, expand your horizons, and then please continue to support the library and help us to make sure it's here for all future generations a fun thing to do, not just on a rainy day, but any day. The Lancaster Public Library, here for you.